How are you? I'm curious about, um, we all know Andre does so many things that yeah. maybe we don't recognize on first glance. When you look back on the film, he was totally locked in yesterday. What does that do for the team, and how do you make sure that maintains in game four after a 41 point win? You guys can let your guard down. It's been an issue for this team. I wouldn't say it's been an issue. Um, but it can happen here and there for us. Yeah. And if it happens at the wrong time, then that's when it becomes a huge issue. Fair enough. Uh, but uh, we uh, when we tend to just focus in on each possession, and there's going to be times where we make mistakes. This is part of the game. But when we focus in and, you know, we're flying around and playing extremely hard and anticipating really well and just, you know, seeing things before they happen, um, you know, we're a really good team. And Andre is a guy that does that night in and night out for us. And uh, we feed off his energy, we feed off his athletic plays, his team plays, whether it's getting still, getting deflection, getting a hockey assist. Um, that stuff makes us feel good. Yeah, how do you prevent any kind of letdown after a 41-point win and make sure that what happened in Game 2 doesn't happen tomorrow? Uh, well, we just got to play play, good, play hard, um, play better. Uh, we just know where you know where we are in the season. I mean, it's Western Conference Finals. We got a good opportunity at our home floor, being up two one. Um, so it's pretty it's pretty easy at this point in the, in, uh, in the season to know what you're doing out there. So you know, I expect everybody to just be on point, be focused. So Draymond, Draymond uh, said last night that a step three can bring down the house the way many guys dunks can. Uh, What's your take on that? And also, what, what's the best celebration you've seen him do? Oh, yeah. When Steph knocks down a three at the crib, it's like, you know, just him shooting a three at the crib is, is just as, is just as uh, impactful, you know, because they've been around. Steph's been doing it for so long and, you know, made so many timely shots here, so many shots here, you know, when he just go up to shoot, especially when it's open, you hear the crowd just roaring. And just that kind of. That energy right there is good for us. We feed off of that as well. So it might not even be a make. It just it gets the shots up, a shot up. So many people are excited about it. So that shows the love that the fans have for the game and for Steph in particular. And uh, it just does so much for us at home. Before Steph broke open, you guys all really had his back and were incredibly supportive of him and said it's just a matter of time. You guys have full confidence. Is this one of the most supportive locker rooms that you've been in? Uh, every locker room I've been in has been supportive. Uh, you know, you want to see your team ready to well, especially uh, around this time of year. And uh, I don't think we were over the top with anything. We staff been treating them the same. And I thought we would have went overboard with the encouragement or the, you know, the talks and the calling the late nights and the texts and stuff. That, in my opinion, it felt like it would have made him feel like something was going on. I didn't feel like anything was wrong with him. So, uh, you know, he's, he's competes all the time, and everybody doesn't make every shot they put up. That's a great expectation to have for a player, but it's just not it's not realistic. So I just knew as a matter of time he'd just be able to you know find a rhythm and get going. Kevin, the Warriors got him. Like when he drops an F bomb on occasion, because it's so out of character for him. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The Warriors haven't lost a home playoff game since you've been here the last two years. What do you guys do so well at home that maybe you don't aren't able to quite do on the road? Uh, I think our game travels. I think that we, no matter what arena, no matter what time of the day it is, we just try to be the same solid basketball club. And I think if we look at it from that way, it really doesn't matter if we're home on the road, home or at home or on the road. I feel like definitely when. You know, a 6 0 run could turn into a 12 14 0 run at home. That's just for any team. But, you know, if you just play solid throughout a game, no matter where you play, I think that puts you in a good position to, you know, to be successful and just to be consistent no matter what. So we just, our focus really is just trying to play as best as we can no matter what. Steve, Steve said he thought you guys play with more pace at home. You play a little faster and then that, that helped. Is that, you see that? No, I don't really see it because, I, like I said, um, I don't want to make this a home and a, a, a road thing. I think. We lock in and we play our brand of basketball um, in any city at any time. Um, you know, but when we when we lock in, really lock in every possession. You know, it really doesn't matter who we play. And, uh, you know, but we when we come out there, you know, we're too relaxed and you know uh, too satisfied. You know, that's when teams creep back in. That usually happens. Uh, you know, 
a little bit too much for us as a team. So it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who we play. We just got to be on every possession. How did you with Raymond's effort yesterday on defense? And do you think Charles took your advice and went downstairs and talked to him? No, I don't think so. But uh, Draymond's just attention to detail, his uh, athleticism, his long arms. Um, and his communication, you know, he's kind of playing the background of defense. He's talking to everybody through stuff, especially when you're playing a perimeter uh, or you're the team. You know, uh, you got to guard stuff at the three-point line. It's hard to kind of, you know, uh, get into help position and, you know, uh, slide over and kind of take a charge or get a block shot because you're paying, that, paying attention to the perimeter and Draymond's behind you just, um, you know, kind of tell you what, what to do and knowing that. He has. He got. Uh, he's had to learn to help you in the backside, push you more confidence in the ball. What impresses you most about the way Looney gets? What impresses you most about the way Looney takes advantage of, you know, every minute and chance that he gets to do something for you? I'm just excited that Loon comes in and works on his game every day. And when his opportunity comes, he knows that the work that he puts in. Um, we know that we know the work that he puts in on a day-to-day basis. He trusts in that when he gets the opportunity to play, and uh, so I'm just proud that he comes in and works like a true pro every day. Kevin, this was a series that a lot of people expected to be. I mean, these are two best teams in the Western Conference. Are you surprised that there hasn't been a game yet where both teams have played their best basketball? That they've been, you know, no games within single digits in this series. Well, I just think that I just think that. Uh, yeah, that's kind of good too. <laughs> I just think the style of play the NBA is in right now, um, there's a lot of three-point shots. There's a lot of space. So, you know, close games, um, especially on the Western Conference, because we got a lot of teams that play small and play fast, um, it's going to be a game. It's going to be, it might be a 10, 15-point game, but throughout the, the meat of the game is always pretty tight. You know what I'm saying? So a team that shoot a lot of threes, us, Houston, New Orleans, uh, even San Antonio sometimes, they just make the threes. It's like... Uh, Utah teams in the playoffs, um, you know, just so many, the three-pointer is such a, a huge part of the game now that, you know, it can easily go from 6 to 16 or 17 in a matter of seconds and then you have a game. So I wouldn't say it's just not, the games aren't good, it's just the fact that the, the style of play, you know, it causes teams to put away a little faster. Cap, Steph has been so deadly from 5 feet and in in this series, 19 for 24. Why has he had so much success taking it to the hole? Because uh, he's getting layups. Uh, and the paint, they're trying to force him on the three. And he's uh, taking his time, his patient in the rim, at the rim and finishing shots. So uh, we don't need him to continue to do that. And uh, we got to continue to keep playing and moving off the ball when he has to as well. No, I was ready for just about anything <laughs> when it comes to uh, uh, I know, I know everything he says is a joke. I know he's on TV and that's his job. Uh, so, but you know, you never take anything serious, but you still got to let know. You know, it's joke time. It's not joke time all the time. So, but it's, it's all fun and games. Do you think it's a little unfair to dream on that? No, I don't know. We do It don't really matter at the end of the day. Steve said they're going to take that up with the league, the, the double tech. You were right close around that that point. Do you agree with him? I don't even know. I mean, you know, two guys is fiery. I want to win. And two guys that just Trevor and Draymond, just ultimate competitors. Stuff happens out there. You know, I'm they both got enough money to pay for. Who's ever won an offensive player to struggle to see the ball in the basket? Can he be helped by having a whole bunch of good defensive possessions off the other end to kind of keep you in the game? Yeah, it just keeps you engaged mentally. I mean, it's. You know, it's easy to get out of it mentally when you miss the shots, especially when you work so hard. And you, you know, those are your shots. You know, it's it's, it's hard to kind of stay in it. Um, but as you get older and more experienced as a player, uh, you know exactly what it takes for you to just stay in the game, stay locked in, stay focused on what the goal is. And it makes the offense come around. It just gives you more confidence. It allows you to play more free when you just, you know, if you just okay with missing good shots, you know, if you miss a, a good look, then, you know, you know, if you get that same look, you know, you're just trusting your work that it will go down, so. Kevin, how do you see the team's defense throughout this season? Say it again? How do you see the team's defense throughout this season? I think we, uh, we had some stretches throughout the regular season, obviously, where we weren't at our best, and I think that's just from having games every other day and the travel and not being able to 
really focus on the opponent and take away what we want to take away in the scout report. Uh, it's hard to do that every game of the season because they come around so fast. Uh, but I just like our attention to detail. I like how we have each other's backs, backs and we're communicating. And if we want to continue to keep winning, we got to do it even better. Can Kevin, is this a must-win like game that, in your eyes? Must-win? Yeah. Uh, we want to win. Is it a must-win? I don't even know what that means. Kevin, yeah, after a win like that, when stuff's going and the crowd's going like that, is there a carryover effect into the practice after? Do you have a little bit of a swagger? I think everybody here has their own taste of swagger, I guess. Uh, a lot of guys accomplished a lot in this league already, so they're confident in who they are as players. Uh, when you win a basketball game, you just want to fight. You kind of want to fight that, actually. You don't want to come in here and have too much swagger and you're not putting the work you need to put in, not focus on what we need to focus on. So we just want to come in and just treat it like another day in practice and get better and see what happens next game. Steph said sometimes you have to be your own biggest fan out there if things aren't going exactly how you, how you like. Do you, do you take that same approach uh, sometimes, just... I'm going to do my thing regardless of how it's going. Yeah, I'm trying to be my own biggest fan at all times of the day. Uh, and be my realest fan as well. Um, and I think I understand what Steph's saying with that because there's so much that goes into the game and a lot of that is on uh, relies on just confidence in yourself and your abilities and your hard work. So um, I feel like every player is a huge fan of what they do and know exactly what they do at the same time. When you ever, never hear Steph really curse at all or say anything along those lines, what does it mean when Steph unleashes an F-bomb like that? I heard him curse a couple times. So, <laughs> But when he went, when he releases the F-bomb, I mean, of course I like it. You know, that word is just an important word when you're playing basketball. You know, it's, it means so much. Um, but I'm, I just like his excitement for the game and his intensity and uh, a crowd for you to after that and we feed off our crowd. Why does it mean so much that you're playing basketball? Because you can just say fuck if you miss a shot or fuck yeah when you make a layup. It just means so much. Have you ever shaken your booty like that? No, hell no. no. Okay. Thanks, Andy. Thank you.